Twitch and welcome to the Race Place Podcast Network. We have another amazing show for you today. Holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a little low. My horn's a little broken. My broken horn. My poor little broken horn. Fantastic, fantastic. What is up? Grand Big Nails in the house. Grand Big Nails, thank you for the tier for subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Grand Big Nails in the house. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Fantastic. Another beautiful Wednesday evening. Crazy stuff going around. All kinds of crazy stuff going on around the world. Who knows what's going on out there? Be safe. But I know it is National Stop Food Waste Day. Did you know that? No. It is National Food <laughs> Waste Day. National Stop Food Waste Day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. You can call me J J Rob if you want. J Rob, go. J Rob's got the professional uh, new name on Twitch. Grand Bay Nails. Okay, okay, nice. J Rob in the house. Oh, gotta too. Now I gotta remember that. AKA J Rob in the house. AKA J Rob. She's got the new Grand Bay Nails. She's got the new business. She's rocking it. She's about to take over. She's got the new business out there in Alabama. Grand Bay Nails. It's about to blow up out there in Alabama. Best nails in the business in Alabama right there. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Man, National Stop Wasting Food Day. Today, we're going to talk to our friend from OC Food Swap. Um, it's going to be an awesome show. I, I, I want you guys to check out um, this article. I, I don't... I, J-Rob... Woohoo! Thanks for the young area. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's gonna be awesome. You don't don't be scared. Don't be scared. Um, if you've never seen my website, tonight you're gonna see it. Tonight's the night. You never probably never www.raiseflaves.com. If you've never been on the website, here you go. I'm gonna help you today. I'm gonna get you on the website. I'm gonna show you the website right now. Today's the day. Screen capture. Here we go. 
boom, raceflaves.com. Look at that beautiful website. There it is. You can go on there. You can scroll down to click on Twitch. You can follow me on Twitch. You can check out my latest YouTube video with Allison organizing the studio. You can click right there and go to Spotify. You can click right there and go to Apple Podcasts. You can do all that stuff. And of course, I don't know if you guys know this, I like to write blogs, okay? And the blogs mostly about food. I just wrote one about Poor Company in Fullerton recently and love the food there. They had amazing. I've been there twice in the last couple of weeks and I just enjoy the food over there. I've been talking to the chef from Poor Company about all the different things he does with the, the fried rice as well as the uh, short rib Philly cheesesteak sandwich that I had there. Amazing stuff. Um, so here's all my articles right here. And I wrote one recently called Rekindling Community Through Garden Swapping, the Revival of OC Food Swap. My friend Allison helped me out with this. She gave me the idea for this and we collaborated on this. Her, me, and AI got together and created this beautiful article for you guys right here about the OC Food Swap. What is the OC food swap? Let's find out. In the heart of Southern California, where sunny days and bountiful gardens are the norm, there once existed a vibrant community initiative called the OC food swap. Born out of a simple yet profound idea back in 2012, OC food swap aimed to tackle the age old problem of excess backyard produce going to waste and by fostering a culture of sharing and a community exchange it all started with my friend right here in studio miss allison alman ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show my friend there it is there it is holy moly holy moly allison's back with more for us ladies and gentlemen it is going to be awesome Allison, you created the OC Food Swap back in 2012. What was your reasoning behind all that? So, thank you for having me on the show again. It's so much fun. There's Absolutely. always so much to talk about. Absolutely. So, I just, why not? Why Heck yeah. not? If you got something to talk about, we will have you on. You can be here every Wednesday. So, uh, a lot of people just don't know this about me. I am the home organizer that came and did the fabulous updates to the studio here. That's right. And as much as I love organizing, a lot of people just don't know that I have a life outside of organizing. Like, yeah. as much as I like it, I actually like to do other things. Holy moly. That's, 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 that's incredible because I figure like you're organizing, like you, like, like you said in the last week's show when you go to the store you're organizing when you enter the store you're counting things when you enter the store you're noticing things so i figured your whole life is just organizing organize organize but you're saying there's more there's more there's more so what happened was is in early 2012 i lived uh, renting a room on a property that had so many glorious trees there was a big tree there was an apricot tree there was a peach tree there was a lemon lime and tangerine hybrid tree that had each branch had its own tree and its own you know citrus thing Whoa. and i also had like a garden going and i had chickens and i just fully was like this urban homesteader where i just had all this awesomeness and i really had no one to share it with hmm. and when i drove around in my neighborhood I would see like lemon trees and orange trees, just an overabundance. Yeah. And I just thought it'd be really cool if I can A, get to know my neighbors and B, we can exchange all the excess uh garden items with each other like just bring our community together share the food have you know do cool things with things you know just it just really felt like there should be a thing and i just kind of like kind of sat on this idea just thinking like 
because I didn't know any of my neighbors because it wasn't my home, so to speak. Yeah, so, so you, you're renting the space. Right. There happen to be lemon trees, orange trees, citrus trees, hybrid trees all on this property. And uh, the, the, the person you're renting from, they didn't care what you did with the trees. You just pick whatever you want. I was renting from mom and dad. Oh, and so okay. They were... mama, mama was good with it. Because <laughs> sometimes mama, mama might be mad. She, she's good with you giving away the fruits. She actually did absolutely nothing with it other okay. than uh just basic eating them and then if they spoiled or whatever she just didn't have any um ingen ingenuity where she yeah. didn't know how to can or dehydrate or anything we did a lot of giving away but i just really felt we could do more you know just other because sometimes we would forget to give it away and just all these things yeah. so i just kind of felt like we could do more with it and i was like looking to do canning and drawing and things but it just i wanted the diversity of exchanging with other people other than just nice. enjoying my stuff yeah i like so. that social aspect of it you're, you're you're thinking about like first of all if you don't do it it's going to make a freaking mess on the floor anyways so right you're gonna have like black fruits on the grass or the ground and, and rats and possums well, and squirrels and birds some animals are going to take advantage of that that it's yeah, all over that's a free feast for them <laughs> right it's a free feast for them so they're, they're coming over and having a party if you don't take care of it it's making a mess so you're you're figuring out a way to to share the food but in a social way and building kind of it seems like you're kind of building a community around this whole thing right i really wanted a community i really wanted um just an opportunity to have diversity like if i had too many lemons i would love to exchange it with someone who has too many peaches you know just i really nice. wanted like a, a swamp but not in the same sense as a farmer's market because the a farmer's market has all those things, but you have to purchase them. You got to pay. And then, and then that doesn't solve the problem of having too much and wanting to give to someone. Like, right. I would have to get my own booth and try to sell. And then there's permits and you know cleansing issues. And there was yeah. just there's a lot of tasks involved. And then I couldn't can I couldn't sustain it year round. You know, there'd be times I wouldn't have anything, but I would want something. Like, and and in all honesty. I was a single mom at the time, and I had a... a How many know, kids you got? Uh, I have one son. One son. Awesome. And he was little, and so I was homeschooling him and uh, different things along that line. So I just really wanted a community, and I also wanted to talk to adults instead of having a talk to <laughs> We know how that is. If you're a parent out there, you know exactly what she's talking about. All we do is kid stuff. Kid this, kid that, dropping off the kids, doing this, doing this, this, talking to kids, talking about what they do. It is it is a rare thing for parents to have like adults to talk to yeah i'm glad you're here today <laughs> i needed you i was alone just with a bunch of kids the other day <laughs> Thank you. anyways uh let's go uh, so, so, so that's crazy. So, so yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's awesome. You're creating this, this, uh, so how does it start? Cause you, you well, first of all, you, you know, you're not paying. That's important because like it, it, it would defeat the purpose because if you try to sell, then you'd still have all this leftover stock. It would never go anywhere. And I didn't want to start a farming business, like go and buy a piece of land and like start a farm. Like that yeah. wasn't the end goal that I wanted to do. I just wanted to just do something with the extra. So lo and behold, Google is our best friend. Yes, and it is. And so I just Google food swaps in my area um, I, I honestly didn't know what I was looking for or what to call it per se, because anyone I would kind of tell my idea to would kind of be laughed at. Like, you want to do what? You want to do a farmer's market in your front yard and barter? Like, that sounds weird. Like, <laughs> that sounds I got, great to me. I had a lot of people looking at me like, that sounds weird. You want to meet, you want to invite strangers to swap. Like, people that don't have any garden stuff just couldn't wrap their head around it like sure. it just seemed very foreign like you know yeah. and, and crime and having a stranger in my front yard mm. you know so so i just realized real quick who i could talk to and who i couldn't because it, it sounded weird yeah and, yeah and so uh so what happened was i googled you know food swap in my area or something and um 
two food swaps came up a long beach uh, food swap and a pasadena so and there I, were people doing this right and okay, i was cool. a very excited but b there wasn't much information given it was more of like a who what when where kind of thing like who it is and what time and be there and free you know it didn't mm. give any details like what happened at a swap or what should i bring it just well, at that time you didn't even know how it works that works right i didn't know how it worked and i didn't there wasn't any details like explaining it so um so uh, uh the the soonest one was pasadena long beach uh was a couple months out or something so i um rsvp to who i ever needed to rsvp to and i tried to ask some probing questions like hey what happens at a swap can you give me some more details and the person never emailed me back so um this is 2012 i mean there's there's internet there's email there's probably um, the very beginnings of Instagram. There's Facebook, obviously. There's the bird app that we can't talk about. The bird app. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and so people aren't like the way they are today. Like, hey, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'll be right there. Oh yeah, do this, do this. This is how it goes. This is, you know, they weren't so. It was very slow media on yeah. social media, and a lot of people uh, just weren't embracing it and right. barely using it. Like it was more of a pestering thing. Oh, they were like, oh, I, I have to update this. I have to post this. You know, it isn't the same like how we it's involved. Yeah. So anyway, so I I make the the quest out to Pasadena, and I honestly didn't bring anything with me because I didn't know should i bring lemons should i do this in my brain it was a research day and i just wanted to see it like in action mm -hmm. so i could see if that's something i wanted to start worst case scenario it's something that doesn't match up to what i was thinking and i didn't want to like waste my efforts Hmm. So unfortunately, due to Southern California traffic, um, although I was supposed to be there at 10 a.m. on a Saturday, which you would think is less traffic, I didn't get there until 1130 in the morning. <laughs> OK, but they, do, do, they, do these things go on all day? Well, so this one was showing from being from 1030, 10 a.m. to 1130. Oh, and so I thought to myself, like, you know, how terrible can this be? But by the time I get there they're probably going to be cleaning up or something, or maybe it's closed. Like they're going to close their yard. And so yeah. and it, there was a point where I already had been gotten more than halfway there. And I just didn't want to turn back, you know, just in case I actually could talk to someone or watch it in action. So, the, so you just went anyways. So I just went anyways, got there 1130. Yes, they were starting to break down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, uh, it was almost like I was, a, 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 I had gone on a long voyage like you know like when I showed up um, the the um, organizer that was hosting it at her home she's like are you Allison are you the lady coming from Orange County like almost <laughs> like I'm coming from so far away another real the OC to LA that's a big difference right and so then I'm like yes and then she's like great this is my yard we're just cleaning up but we're gonna sit down and have a little lunch so you know come join us and stuff. Oh, you got their perfect time for lunch. Yeah, Fantastic. I did. But uh, and then she just kind of showed me um, some of there was like a piece of paper that um, she showed me like how they did the food swaps and stuff, the the garden swaps. And so like I took it all in and I'm like yeah, in my brain I'm like yes this is exactly it yes this is exactly they were similar it. to what you had in your mind right it was very in fact it was very organized in how she set it up and everything and that's then, a number numero uno for you right <laughs> it better like, be organized at the very least yeah so like to me. <laughs> like I can like I was in my brain thinking I can replicate this I can replicate this I can do this this is this is what I was thinking so uh, nice. stuck around for the potluck and then at some point she's like okay it's time you need to leave I want to go inside and you know because we did it all <laughs> in her backyard so she was like done hosting so yeah. it was like okay fine you know and then I did the you know hour and a half two hour drive back and oh uh, and so it was just so funny because the whole way back driving home i'm just 
mapping it out in my head and like how we're going to do this, how is this going to be and everything. So it really, it really just made me feel good that there was something already there that I could copy versus trying to figure it out and reinvent the wheel, which like yeah. no one wants to reinvent the wheel. Everyone wants to copy. It's less work. There's less, you know, things involved. Right. So that's definitely, that's definitely the thoughts that I had was, okay, I want to replicate this. I want to, I want to do this. And you were going to do it in your yard? Yeah. So so the problem was, is um, I didn't, I'm in my brain, I want to keep this as low cost as possible and not have to get like a permit at the park because I don't yeah. initially know how many people will show up. Mm. I don't know how many other people there are out there like me that just doesn't know there's like there's a Pasadena or Long Beach. Like, you know, I just don't know, you know. What if there's like thousands of, of, of food swappers out there and they right. just show up on your lawn right. and so becomes a like, concert? I, I didn't want to be like at a park and have to get a permit. So I just thought, okay, I'll just do like in my uh, in my front yard first, you know, keep the doors locked so that people can't come into the backyard. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, you don't know who are coming over or who would no. come over to take advantage. That was more. You know, like, if, right. like, you know, if someone, you know, found out with the, you know, with the pretended to, you know, be there. for That is swap. true. Be here, I'll think like a criminal for a second. So <laughs> I show up to this food swap and I'm like, cool, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, a, I'm a nice guy. I've got a food swap. Then like the next day, I'm like, she's already, she's got trees in her backyard. Why don't I just jump over there and grab all the fruit I want? No, is that's that, what, is that not, what some of the criminals not, think? Not like that. More like. <laughs> Like breaking into our house. Oh, breaking into your house? Oh, I was stealing, 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 I don't even think I, I'm not a good criminal. And stealing valuables, like, you oh, know, cases. Jesus. And, you know, so, oh, you know, Jesus. my parents are elderly and they're afraid of the internet and they're afraid of strangers coming over and they're oh, afraid yeah. of social media. So when I'm telling them strangers are going to be in our front yard, their first thought is, let's put the jewels in the shape, safe. And I'm like, no one's coming into the house. No one's going to know that they, you guys have jewelry, you know? Yeah. And they're like, well, you know, strangers, you know, they could be looking in our windows. I'm like, fine, I'll draw the blinds. Like, you know, like, <laughs> my parents were so anti this and they, Smart. you know, that it was just like, I couldn't understand. I couldn't tell them enough that, you know, the doors will be locked. No one's going to come in the house. No one's going to need to use the restroom. No one's going to steal your medication, Mom. You know, they're just... That's good. That, That's that, good. Was, that was more, not so much the, the fruit. It's more they were Made afraid feel safe. Of, yeah. You know, so, so yeah. So then I just started putting it together, came up with, like, logos and brand ship and pop it all on social media, make accounts, make consistency, and just, you know, started planning it. Uh, so pretty much right away like this was like may of 2012 and as early as july i just said okay we're gonna start doing it on you know tuesdays or thursdays or whatever day every week yeah every oh, week dang. because i had so much every week that was ready to harvest that i didn't see the point of like saving for a whole bunch i had a whole bunch every week wow you had enough to supply every single week yeah That's and perfect. so uh so then i just started uh, i have a chalk you want to do the picture of the chalkboard or oh the chalk Chalkboard, sure. Yeah, that shows the date of August that I kind of see here. So, um, so yeah, so I just started, you know, just doing it every week and and everything. And everyone I talked to, I made the business cards. And everyone I talked to, I invited them, and you know, just started talking with people. And there was a whole lot of weeks that no one showed up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and man. I just sat in the front yard with like a bag of stuff or a so table. in the beginning, not not a lot of people showed up yeah it just wasn't uh it was just this strange thing happening in my front yard and and i even joined next door and posted about it on next door trying to get neighbors involved finally finally someone drove by with a giant bag of grapefruits and he goes is this the swap house and i'm like yeah and, giant grapefruits? <laughs> and he goes good i have this giant 40 year old tree with like so many grapefruits that we can Dang. never ever eat them all can i give them to you i go well not only can you give them to me but i can swap with you and you can take home lemons or this and he goes no no i don't want anything and i go no you have to take something. This is a swap group. That's another that's another challenge is like some people are just trying to offload their goods to you too. Like, right, right? right. Did you have that issue? I did, but I really wanted him I, I I could feel that he was like 
I don't want to say scared, but he just didn't want to take anything that someone else could have. And I'm like, dude, you're the only person that showed up to the swap. So oh. you get your pick of what you want. You're not taking from another person. There's no other person. It's you and I. <laughs> he, he, he didn't want to take advantage. Yeah. So he's like, oh, no, I'm good. I don't need anything. And I'm like, no. Please take something. That's the whole point of this. <laughs> yeah, me and Penny Polish were thinking, like, like like Penny Polish said, a zucchini dumpers. Like everybody's got, t like when you have a garden, everybody has zucchinis. Right. So you right. just like throwing, like, yeah, I got to get where you're like giving them a grandma, giving them a Thea, giving them your sisters, giving them everybody. It's right. crazy. So, so yeah, that's the thing I would think about. Like people were just offloading stuff, but he was kind of cool. He was just worried other people weren't going to get some stuff. Right. So that's like, he didn't cool want to take lemons from me if someone else wanted them or needed them. And I was like, you're the only person here. So you get your pick of what you want. <laughs> that's exact. That's, that's crazy. J, J Rob, you're absolutely right. Sheila, Sheila should uh, join the group. Group. Um, so so yeah there's all these kinds of trippy things that you don't think about when you're having them so that was the beginning and kind of like the grassroots of the movement and because of where i was located i was only in one city and for the people that are out of our area of orange county it's 37 cities and there's a north a south and a central and i was in central orange county and so um at some point, I, I kind of wondered, like, is there South County? Is there a North County? Is there other people in my area? Um, and so then it was just a lot of me commenting and posting and, and being a part of different Facebook moms groups and stuff and just posting about it and just inviting people to uh, either create one in their area or at least let me just do it in their front yard if they, you know, want to start it. If they want to start it, I'll come to their front yard and and organize it and run it you'll show them exactly how it's done right. cookie cutter style and give them the paper to to do, to do the swap and and everything Wow. So, and, and this thing eventually blows up, right? Right. At some point, we were at 14, what I call chapters. 14 and, chapters. And so they had, you know, told me, hey, I'm so excited. They would come to one of mine to see how, at some point, I had like 30 people starting to show up consistently to mine. Whoa. And every single week. Every week. 30 people. And so, um, and so then I started getting people that were like from out, you know, not that close to me, but you know, close to me. And they're still like, Orange County. Yeah. Still Orange County. Nice. I said, Hey, I heard about this. I think it's awesome. I, especially when it's zucchini season, I, I need some way to offload all these zucchinis. I think it's awesome. I would love to swap for fruit or backyard chicken eggs or uh, laundry soap or, you know, anything homemade, not wow. tied. And, um, it'd be great. This is a really great thing. I want to do it. And I go, great. This is kind of the generic logo I made, but you can do other colors. It just seems that everyone likes this this and you know this is kind of like the piece of paper but again you can change it but this is kind of the model so you're franchising it out right but, and it, it came up at some point that i should do it as a franchise where they purchase all this logo and, and stuff and i should trademark it right and i remember with one lady i'm like well you know because she even said have you thought about making this a franchise and i go well the whole point of this is bartering and i don't really want to make any money off of it like but free I, is all idea right. right and then so i mean it would feel weird to sell a chapter you know or a no. franchise and then they're like well no they're just paying you for the logo for the you know the the template of the the paper and and you know and they're kind of following the model of how you post on social media or the verbiage you use like so it could yeah. still stay free there's just an investment of like a hundred dollars that just pays you for making all these things mm. and i was like oh okay well i mean yeah i can get i could see if they you know know could do that you know but then what's to stop them to make their own logo or make their own paper right, like why right. would they pay a hundred dollars you know and they could do it themselves yeah you know? most of them are kind of do you think were most of them that wanted to do it with you or wanted to partner with you were they like more like i want to do this as a hobby type of thing it was just more of like they really liked how i had built a community and they wanted a community within their neighborhood and they just happened mm. to live like in garden grove which is like a 
30 minute drive from where I lived. So it isn't something that I could have gone every week to their house, yeah. you know, unless they picked a different day than my day or something, you know, or yeah. they, they wanted to do it once a month or once a quarter or something like that. You know, it should have been more work on my end to go and set up at their house. And then, you know, would they get the word out? So I really wanted it to, when they came to me wanting to do it, they wanted it to be their community, their food swap. They wanted to name it. Nice. They wanted to logo it. So the franchise thing was kind of like, yeah, it's a franchise, but you don't have to pay. You can do whatever you want. And then they go, great. I'm going to do whatever I want. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> <laughs> they like they, they like that free franchise. Yeah. So then it was Nick. like, oh, okay. Because if anything, that hundred dollars would have just kept the web hosting alive or the website alive. Yeah. Or anything. You got to pay for that website. This but is... you know, and then again, this is now like 2013, and so you know, domains back then cost like a hundred dollars a year and web hosting was like $35 a month and you Holy know moly. and and now since then it's all gotten cheaper but at the time I didn't have enough like skill set to go hunt down different web hosting I just found one web hosting and just went with it and just mm. made that $35 payment because I just didn't know how to change it you know I didn't know how to yeah. Do it. I'm not a computer person. There wasn't that many choices back then anyways. It was yeah. GoDaddy and somebody else. GoDaddy didn't even exist yet. No, not that? Not yet. Yeah, GoDaddy. Whoa. Well, I didn't join GoDaddy till 2014. So if oh, GoDaddy wow. existed before 2014, it might have been more expensive. It might have, you know, they might have lowered their rates or something. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, so yeah, no one wanted to pay for franchise. Any questions? No questions okay. yet. Uh, <laughs> no, just, um, yeah, it's crazy. So everybody liked the free franchise. Yeah, it would have been like weird to like be like, I want to sell you this free style franchise, but you have to pay. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, to me, it just, like I said, it felt like it was defeating the purpose. I wanted community. I wanted bartering. I wanted all is welcome. So if someone wanted to make their own chapter, I didn't want the hundred dollars or whatever it costs to hold them back because, yeah. because it was going to be their thing. It's their yard. It's their rules when they swap, what the rules were. Some people um, wouldn't allow homemade stuff like laundry soap or breads. It was strictly garden stuff because mm. of people like not having good clean practices like, sure. of making uh, stuff and then there was other people that um, wouldn't even do it in their front yard because they didn't want any liability so they would do it like in um, the that strip of grass that belongs to the city that oh. has the sidewalk. And so then, they would just like everybody just stamp. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, here. No one would, their front yard would be off limits and everything because they did not <laughs> want any liability. Another person had a liability and it was on a uh, in a business um, office park and to enter the courtyard of the office park to do the swap, you had to sign a liability that you, you know, you wouldn't sue the office yeah. park. Yeah. So, I mean, so there was a lot of those kinds of things that I didn't think about because I didn't know to think about it. Because somebody could fall and yeah. or say they fell and right. sue you, right. sue right. the whole business park, and then you're really screwed, especially yeah. if you're just leasing there or something like that. Then you got a real problem. Right. And again, I didn't think about any of those logistics because my mind was tunnel vision on swapping the garden stuff and everything so you know who was i to go i mean i, I didn't want to get a permit for you know a hundred thousand dollar liability like you know Gee. like i was like nope okay you want to run your franchise how you want awesome i'm gonna bless it and then i'm gonna come over and visit there you go <laughs> you know you, you got so, your, yours going on as well at your house right yeah and i didn't do any liability at my house i just hoped and prayed that no one would trip or sue us <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I would, you know, and and so so then uh, so then at this point in time, um, it's the end of 2013, and I run into a personal hiccup. I ran into a. Um, incident between my parents and I and they mm. actually uh, terminated my renting a room in their house Ooh. and they gave me two days notice to pack up 
all 1200 square feet of my living quarters oh, and Lord. then change the locks and put everything on the lawn so you're out of the house you've got to find your own place number one find a job i haven't worked in a year and a half other than doing the garden swapping oh you weren't you weren't doing organizing back then i wasn't i had a, i was on a different path i was uh perfecting my uh traditional wife skills mm. of being a great cook a home school mom and having chickens cooking and canning and stretching my budget and trying to not have any expenses whatsoever so there was no subscriptions there was no uh, self-care I only had one bill to my name which was my car payment and uh, even at that I was cleaning houses and just doing weird uh, side jobs just to make that $348 every month I, I actually had no other expenses Wow! I, 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 my parents gave me parameters within the house like I couldn't use the air conditioner we didn't have an air conditioner but I couldn't use the dishwasher uh, during certain times because of the Edison uh, restrictions try to get the bill down right and they had a pool so endless high bills you know oh and, yeah and so uh, and they would say we don't you know we're gonna get rid of cable uh, TV and I'd go great and like who was I to say because I wasn't paying anything <laughs> so you know so they, just, so they just uh, so after that incident happened and I had two days to pack up everything. Uh, I went to my best, my then best friend's house and I kind of went crying. Like, what am I going to do? My parents are giving me two days to pack up my stuff and leave. I live in 1200 yeah. square feet. I don't have a job. Where am I going to live? I don't have any credit. Jeez. I don't have a deposit. I don't have savings or anything. And she goes, oh, you're going to live with me. And I go, I'm going to live with you. I can't afford rent to live with you. She goes, don't worry about it. It's taken care of. And I go, oh, okay. That's a good friend. Yeah, good friend. And so I moved in with her. Uh, that was October 2nd, 2013. And then um, I just know this. You're just going to hear the story. I, I've recited this story many times. Nobody's heard it. it. <laughs> bring it up. Bring it on the Race Place Experience. <laughs> this is an exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear it first right here on the Race Place Podcast Network. <laughs> and um, so I moved in with her. And around that same time of October, she decided to stop chemotherapy because she felt that the chemo was not mm -hmm. reduced her cancer so she it, had cancer mm -hmm. as well you're living with her and one day she up and decides i'm not going to do chemo anymore right because oh. the the tumor wasn't getting any smaller or mm. any bigger it just the radiation or the chemo or the whatever was keeping it the same size Stagnant. but it wasn't smaller or bigger so she decided to give up and mm. go and stop the uh the 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 track of doing both chemo and radiation and she passed away two months later in a very rapid downhill and i became her pretty much full-time caregiver which means i couldn't get a job or wow. do anything but rent was covered you know she paid it through her means and then she passed and then uh, here i'm at the same dilemma again where i don't have a job i don't have an income place to live i don't have savings I don't have credit and my parents are not speaking, which means they cannot help me to get into an apartment or anything. Wow. So in the midst of all this, I couldn't do any sw food swapping or even support any of the other chapters because my life was pretty much devoted to being her caregiver. And there wasn't just any time. I, I just didn't have any, um, I didn't have any, my, I was so like, I don't want to say depressed, but I was like consumed with what was going on. Well, yeah, I, you had a lot going on. You I couldn't were... just smile and pretend everything was hunky dory and show up to a swap. Also, right. where she lived, I didn't have anything to grow. I didn't have anything to bring to a swap. There was no uh, yard or anything? Well, there was, but it's like an apartment complex. So uh, it was like, you know, she had like a couple of like random house plants, but she didn't dang. have anything garden. There wasn't going to be a tree, like right. multiple trees with citrus is just so, an apartment. So I felt almost like a, a fraud to show up to a swap with nothing. But I'm the mm. founder and I, you know, I started all this movement and I don't wow. have anything you know and again i was so consumed with what was happening i i couldn't 
smile and act like everything was fine when I was like falling apart. Yeah, <laughs> you were going through a lot. Your parents seek you out. You're you move into this your your best friend's house. She passes away two months later. That's enough to like, geez, that's 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 more than enough to have to deal with. And the last thing you're gonna worry about is the OC food swap. So 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 what happens is it kind of obviously gets pushed to the side. Yeah, I pretty much just told everyone I'm going through a personal issue and just resume and you know hopefully 2014 will be awesome and yeah. everything will get back on track like that was like the lie i told myself to keep me going <laughs> sure well, well good yeah i mean you, you, you say positive right it's yeah only, like only i thing really, you can do right yeah and so that was kind of what was going on so i had a, basically a month to clear out her apartment with all of her possessions plus i had to clear out my stuff of all my possessions that i brought to her house where, where, where does she had does she have family or anything like that? Like uh, she had two adult children. Um, one lived in Oregon. He might still live there. And a daughter, um, a couple cities over from where we were. Um, they both have their own lives and their own families. So they didn't help you. They came over um, and grabbed some personal, you know, pictures and heirlooms sure. and you know the the things that represented their mom right. but left all her clothes all her furniture all her pots and pans all her home decor items okay. and we had to try to do a state sale but that was a bust because it was happened to be december and no one goes to a state sales or christmas sale you know uh well, garage sales <laughs> when they're gonna go to the mall you know for uh, christmas right, right, like right, right. no one's no one's gonna want you know grandma's sweater when they can buy a brand new sweater that doesn't smell yeah they know? need to show with new stuff that, yeah. that smells new <laughs> yeah Dang. so so we tried to do estate sales and it just turned out to be a waste of time so at the in the end salvation army came twice with their semi truck and filled the um filled their trucks Holy with Lord. her stuff and my stuff too i tried to sell my stuff but it was just generic there wasn't anything special so my stuff ended up getting sold too or, or picked up as well you just gave up all your stuff too? Well, so the problem was, is I was actually talking to a couple different shelters. I even had a church uh, fund our Christmas that year and give us gifts and things because I had no idea how Christmas was going to happen. Mm. And so then I was talking to the same charities, like, what do I do for a hotel, motel voucher? And do we just live in our car? Like, like, what do people do that don't have the means and need to move like my homeless now wow. because I, I just really truly didn't have any idea uh, how the system worked or, or vouchers or anything and so people were telling me you know just fill a luggage you know and and you know that way if you don't get a motel voucher then you know you're in your car you know and mm. it's Chris it's December so it's cold I mean Oof. not cold like Midwest cold but yeah it, we're but cold here. Enough. it's good <laughs> yeah it's like in a car is different than sleeping in a house Heck so yeah. uh, so that That's was kind crazy, of the future dude. that i was looking forward to looking toward not forward but looking that's what our future was looking and it was just very scary and again the last thing on my mind was let's go to a food swap, food swap let's geez. smile and act like everything's fine and, wow <laughs> you know so so uh, what happened at the very very last minute is I knew a gentleman who's a landscaper and uh, he does um, wealthy areas. And so I had said, doesn't any of your clients need like a live in house cleaner? That's a home organizer, yeah. you know, that would let me move in and clean their house, organize their house, cook all or I mean, I, I know how to cook, but not grand. <laughs> That's a huge value. Man. You know, you do, like, you do everything like, you know, I could do this, you know, and that could move in and, you know, bring my kid and 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 everything. Everything. And I don't know if he just never asked or if he just didn't, you know, I don't know what the, the thought process was, but here it is after Christmas. It's that week between Christmas and New Year, and I'm just getting more and more anxious and everything. Sure. And so he goes, hey. I got this uh, camping trailer in my backyard. Um, uh, it hasn't, he rented it out to someone back in the summer, but then she moved out. He's like, so I have this camping trailer in my backyard and you are welcome to come live in it till you get on your feet. And uh, so I, uh, and I go, well, how much, how much is it? Like, I need to know. And he's like, nothing. I just want you to get on your feet. I don't want you to be homeless. No way. And he so I you go, up. okay. And so I check it out and it's just 
It was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, amazing. Like the one Kevin just Kevin was here and the and the Spotify is coming out net tomorrow. Kevin bought a trailer from a meth meth addict. And he oh, lived in like a meth is like he had to scrape not, the walls and it everything. It was not that, that bad, uh, but it was pretty horrible. So what had happened was back in August, the previous renter, I don't know what happened between the conversation or anything, but she left it a mess beyond a mess thinking she was sticking it to him like to have to clean up the mess so she but it ended up being she you left, <laughs> like she, she had a dog and the dog peed all over the carpet and there was oh. rings on the floor of, like urine rings oh. and she's a female so she left her monthly um deposit depositories everywhere um all like in the sink and oh. and in the shower floor. So he was trying to ship. So you, now I get it. Like you're saying, she started trying to stick to him. She figures a guy's gonna have to come in and clean this nasty period stuff up. Right, but all he did was just keep the doors and windows closed mm. and didn't even bother to clean it out, just thinking he would do it later or maybe never. We learned about the later concept from you last week. <laughs> <laughs> later never comes. We learned from the maiden. So he goes, it's not pretty, but it's a dry place to be because it's December and it's Shoot. cold and rain has had it to our place and it's free. Well, J-Rob said uh, sometimes we do things out of necessity that a lot of people wouldn't understand. So right. she understands. So that was exactly, exactly it. So I opened the door to this whiff of smell of urine and everything mm. and unfortunately some critters moved in that are black with eight little legs and they sometimes fly in like florida Ooh, and texas uh -huh. oh. and they just I'm infested itchy. the place infested infested <sighs> God. So I can't have any food in there. I can't have any clothes in there. But hey, it's a dry place. Awesome. Oh my gosh. So you just start to like get trash bags and start cleaning the place out? Yeah, I start cleaning it. It's raining. I'm trying to bring some of my stuff in, which is a bad idea. But That's I... the worst. Like when you're trying to do something, you're like, and it rains. Like you, you think, oh, rain is just rain. But you have to go back and forth, back and forth. You're in the rain, in it's dry, wet, dry, wet, trying to get your stuff together. Right. Crazy. And so I assess the situation and go there's no way my kid can be in this place with me this is not a safe environment so sure. luckily um his dad allowed um our kid to be with him while i uh, literally every day opened a different fog bomb and let off a fog bomb and i would have it on for 12 hours and then i would come back and open all the windows to air it out and then the next day do another fog bomb and then i was living in a motel um uh, locally and uh, i had found a last minute job that actually paid really well so that Sweet. afforded the motel that i could live in and i had talked to a few people that let me put some of my stuff in their garages to keep it dry and protected so that once all all the roaches were gone and all the other smells were gone and all the carpet was gone i could actually move our stuff in that wouldn't be wet or anything so it was kind Dang. of like a process so again oc food swap was the last thing on my mind very last <laughs> you, you. you know there just wasn't anything i wanted to swap i didn't want to bring anyone any extra gifts or, or attachments that might be in our stuff or anything well that could be an extra well, well, here's an extra here's an angle that maybe somebody might ask out there is like what happens for someone like you not just somebody like you somebody who's homeless or somebody who's the, the, and and the the goal is to get rid of the food anyways isn't there isn't there a thing where you guys are like hey you can come down and just grab stuff instead of swapping did you guys have that or, or, no, or you think about anything like I that i just was so out of it that i just really kind of just turned that part of my brain off and just mm. you know back when i had told everyone i'm dealing with you know um peg's cancer and Peg's death and I'm kind of like gonna 
like exit the loop i was like call me if there's an emergency but otherwise you guys are on your own because i just am not in any way shape or form able to even think about this because i was mostly in survivor mode sure trying to you know, keep our stuff from getting infested trying to you know figure out money so i could afford everything and, <laughs> and i wanted to get the place um clean enough so that i could a move into it and get Recontinue custody of my kid, then I could settle in and be out of survivor mode so that uh, I can like assess and be like, okay, I it's spring, let's go make some container gardens and let's start a swap again. Like, my thoughts were here it is, you know, January, February, I could get everything figured out and hustle and do some containers and you know, pop, you know, garden stuff in containers and start something, you know, basil, mint. And restart the swap in in Feb in in you know, ready March for April. You know, like that was my that was almost my focus to get me through to bring me some hope. Otherwise, I was just gonna be in this dark place of you know being you know in this way. So yeah, your life was turned upside down completely. So many things happening, um, homelessness. Your your friend passed away. Um, the only place you can stay dry in is a place where you got to like foam bomb every single day with roaches. So yeah, it's just crazy. And still you're like, by March, I'm going to continue with the, with the, with the uh, swap. I, I really just wanted that piece of being back in the swing of swap. Sure. So I wanted to be out and done and dealt with all of this. And I really hadn't done any grieving because I literally jumped from mm. one survivor event to another so i Jeez. really wanted like peace and the to me a food swap was that peace that i knew i could have because i had it before so it was like a that that feeling so that was where I was, and yeah. that's what i wanted i wanted that and so that's kind of what happened so unfortunately that's not what happened and oh. i oh no, oh, no, okay. no, okay. no, 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 for you, like, like it, gets, it gets worse, like, you're living in a, ro a place that's, like, full of roaches, and, the, the, you know, there's all, you, I mean, all kinds of things happening, but then you find out, you're in the mobile motel, you're, you found a good job, yeah. and, and so you're, you're, that's amazing, how did, how did you, how did you end up finding this job? Um, through gigs on Craigslist. Oh, okay, Um cool. It was a, um, for, um, we have it's a convention center overflow um job whenever there's a convention center um they need um like a, a they it's like we help the convention center staff to do like directing traffic and okay. and uh you know go over there to get your badge and and so we're not employees of the convention center because that would involve benefits and pension yeah. and who knows you're a vendor for the convention center so yeah we were like a a, a temporary staffing company oh, yeah, that's like where robin does robin's been on the show He's, he does that a lot of, yeah all the different stadiums and crazy so, so yeah so what happened was is i was just looking for anything part-time and any time kind of thing that you know because i just didn't know how long i was going to stay in this camper or if i was going to move there was some um local with some friends of mine that live out of state they're like you're how are you living this way come to idaho you will get you a job you know we'll put a roof over your head but i don't wow. want to leave my kid behind or or anything like that so mm. it was just there was a lot of things so i just didn't want to get locked into like a nine to five corporate job if i needed to up and move or or something mm. so so i just should be flexible so i was looking for any any kind of work that was part-time and flexible like a freelance situation so when i mm. came across the gig um the the posted gig of um and coincidentally and uh it was the nam show that they needed oh. extra staff for the nam show Sweet. So, Hell yeah. And I didn't know anything about NAM or national anything about it. National Artists and Musicians Show or something like that? It's National Association of um, Musicians, musicians. Na International or something yeah, like that. It used, to be, it used awesome. to be national, but now it's international. But they kept the acronym because now it would be NAMI, and that's not what they are. <laughs> <laughs> that's where Pearl Drums comes. Uh, different amps, uh, martial amps go there. Everybody has a booth. Martial amps have, have stacks have a booth. 
uh, Pearl Drums has a booth, uh, DWH, uh, all the big um, instrument vendors have booths there. And then all, all the celebrities, celebrities show, up show up. Yes. <laughs> to I, test the instruments yep. and play. Yeah. And then you did get you like live shows. In I front saw of Stevie you. Wonder there. Who did, you, who did you see? I got to serve breakfast to Smokey Robinson. Damn, that's awesome. No way. <laughs> what, 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 what did you have? Some eggs and coffee? What, 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 he wanted cranberry and we didn't have cranberry. Uh-oh. So I had a call to the Hilton rest, or kitchen and say, like, bring us some cranberry. You made that, it happen? Yeah. Hell that was my, yeah. She made that, it happen for Smokey. That was my job. <laughs> Smokey, come on the show. You, you, you owe Allison one. You're going to have to come on the show, Smokey Robinson. Come on the I show. Got, for- I got to eat Sarah McLaughlin. Dang. I got to do a bunch of cool stuff. That's so awesome. So the gal interviewed me on the phone. This is a little side story. But when she interviewed me on the phone, my credentials, I've put on events before. So I knew the role of the um, the staffing person because I've been the event planner. So, of course, I know what a staffer does. Nice. So, uh, so anyways, when I gave her my resume, she called me and said, why are you applying for this job? And I go, can I be candid or do I, you want the sugar version? And she's like, candid. So I basically told her how my whole life had unfolded and all this was happening and I was desperate for work and I don't care that it's minimum wage. I need money in the door so I can afford the, afford the motel, so I can afford the roach, uh, uh, roach coach. Uh, j- gel to kill him oh, so, the that I, <laughs> so I can get my kid custody back and so I can get on my feet so I can then do whatever I need. So I really need this job and I know it's minimum wage. And I'm not asking for special favors because of my creden- my you know credentials of doing this your job basically. I just yeah. need work. I don't care. Like I don't care what the convention is. I don't care what the hours are. I, I don't care any of that. I just need sure. money. And so she was like, "Wow, okay. Well, the best I can do is get you into the green room for the VIP celebrities." And Man, people and, would die to be in that room. And you need to work it. She said, "I can get you some um, ticket um, some." stickers to cover your parking because i only give that out to my manager so you're not a manager because you uh, i'm hiring you you're new the managers would be pissed that there's a random new man she's trying to help you out yeah but she's nice trying lady. to hand out and she goes i'll tell you you'll go far by saying yes and when you and don't give me a story associated with the yes just yes can you do it or no you can't i don't really care a story as to why you can't or why you can mm. and be flexible with where i put you like if I need you to give really give people breaks after being in the green room assignment. Uh, I don't. Anytime you say no or mm, then I won't give you more shifts. Like she just told it to me straight. That's the tr- that's the truth. Yeah. And so yeah. I said no problem. Where do I start? She goes well. You need an outfit. And I'll send over an email of the outfit that you need to wear. And she goes just go to Salvation Army or Goodwill. You do not need fancy clothes. It just has to be this match th- this attire. You know, it yeah. has to be this this color shirt, this color suit, that. Kind of stuff, and then and then that's it. Just come ready to work and smile, and I'll you know I'll get you a name badge when you show up, and that was it. And that weekend for Nam, which I didn't know anything about Nam, <laughs> I literally said yes to everything they asked me to do. Like a lot of people, they hired just got their name badge, but never showed up to their shift because they just wanted to go to Nam for free. Our badge got what? you into everything. Uh, the badges we wore. So they just kept the badge and got into the show. They yes, didn't even work. They didn't even work. I'm sure. They change that by now, right? There must be a system. Well, so I took, I covered a lot of shifts, but gave me a lot of overtime. I was working 15 hour days because all the people didn't show up. All the people didn't show up. I got their, I got <laughs> yeah. their task. And then um, the other thing that happened was while I was in the Hilton for the VIP room, which was like this breakfast room for the for the event I was doing, the Hilton person, I was just eyeing that food. I was so hungry. I hadn't eaten in a couple days, and I was just eyeing these eggs and everything and i'm yeah. just smiling and getting people in the room and you know got everything you need and everything so anyways the hilton person came to retrieve the food and i go what's gonna happen to the food and she's all oh even the stuff that's untouched i have to throw it away and i must have been like salivating and she goes you look hungry i go i am i haven't eaten for a couple of days she goes i'll be right back and i go Holy okay Lord. she brought me all these to-go containers and a giant bag to put the containers in and she's She's all, technically, I have to throw this away. I'm going to go to the bathroom for 10 minutes, and whatever is left, I'm going to have to throw away. And that Whoa. was like code for start filming 
in those to go boxes. Just, yeah, so up. I took all the jam, all the ketchups, the little ketchups, all the tea, all the creamer, all the eggs, all the bacon. I mean, she gave me even Dang. to go cups for the orange juice and the, everything. And then so I filled all these to go bags and then I cleaned up. I wasn't messy or anything. Nice. And then when I left and then I heard her go, hello, it's the kitchen. And then I was already gone. So that was like her warning me oh, that she was opening I'm the coming. door. Yeah. Dang, that is, so a, that is a blessing. that lucked out really well. And then us uh, staffers, we had like our own break room with a fridge. What? So I just, I and the bag didn't say Hilton. It was just a brown bag. And the to-go containers were plain. They weren't logoed. So, oh, I mean, great. honestly, I could have got that stuff at IHOP or Denny's and brought it with me. There was no way to tell it came from the Hilted, you know? Right, so you just stored it in the fridge. So I just stored it in the employee fridge. And then every time they said, okay, Allison, go take a break. Okay, Allison, we need you to cover this person. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, great. Since you're going to be working 12 hours, I need you to take another half hour lunch. Okay, no problem. So I go over, ate more food. And it was like that all four days that I was there. Wow. I got and then any food that I didn't eat, I took home and uh, or took to the motel and put it in that fridge and everything and ate food. And then the next day same thing so that was that was it and then after that i worked so many other events so it's a huge long story incredible (laughs) incredible the way you're the way stuff just happens for you that's that's amazing you're a hero you're 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 a beast that's that's crazy for a couple of years it was i thought i did like three years of nam and did a lot of the green room and all the overflow i mean i just did everything every time she'd ask me can you work in long beach this weekend yes she didn't want a story i would just say yes where I would say, uh, can I get back to you in an hour? And she goes, yes, you have an hour. And then I was, can you babysit? Can you do this? Because I, I wanted to, you know, take any shift she can give me. And same thing. She did parking a bunch of times for me. Again, don't tell anyone I'm giving you parking sticker. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You know, I didn't. Nice. Yeah, so. And so, so this, does this at some point help you get back on your feet, get more steady, some yeah. more normalcy in, in your life? Yeah. So by the time, so. So at that point, I had gotten the gel to kill the cockroaches, which really significantly killed the population. Wow. And so I got um, so then the the um, the trailer gets clean enough. I ripped out all the carpet myself, and then I bought one of those steam mop cleaners, and I did all the walls, all the crevices, all the drawers, and then Dang. I did more gel. You know, like I really hyper cleaned this camping trailer <laughs> because it's not mine to. Get Get rid of so to speak it's still yeah. his you know? it's not easy like changing the carpet changing a carpet in a house is one thing but changing the carpet in a in a trailer it, it's a motorhome it's it's a little bit difficult it's, it's more, different. more to it the the yeah and then steam mop the floor like i did so much cleaning and steam mopping and cleaning and steam mopping i took all the curtains down and washed those like on the Oof. hottest water with bleach you know oh, just man. to kill any eggs or any any unfriendly un you know traitors i called them traitors <laughs> yeah there, i mean there could be fleas too yeah they, there was fleas the, as soon as i walked in the first couple times they would jump clear up high on my dang. leg and just be like oh host host and i'm like oh holy yeah mo- yeah because she had a dog you said right yeah holy moly so just yeah disgusting. so it just took weeks and weeks and weeks of that and finally like i said i could walk in and not have anything jump on me i could with the lights off I could shine the flashlight and nothing skittered around. <laughs> oh, gosh. The flashlight test. Yep. Oh, yep. my gosh. And then I, I, you know, my dad came over and took a look at that and says, yeah, it's clean. And I go, great. Can I get custody of my kid again? Because it had been like six or seven weeks since I had seen my kid. And oh, that was what man. all this was for, was so that I could get my, get resume the custody. So once my dad came over to inspect it, it was okay. Yeah. And then he made made the call to my ex and then the i think the very next night i got my kid back so oh that's so, cool. was there so, any like court thing they had to go through or no, just it out? was just i he my ex was very uh glad that i wasn't in a motel homeless and was also glad that i had been forthcoming on the condition of the trailer like i couldn't 
knowingly have my kid in there and I I don't want my kid getting bit or traumatized while sleeping of things crawling you know just there's things we do as adults but it's not fair to our kids like 100% so so that's kind of how that went so oh so sorry I went off the off the rails no that's that's, (laughs) dude just got bad I mean not not better for you but your your whole story it just makes me uh, like like think of you like like a hero right right because right of, of what you've been through what you've gone through and i'm glad you were very descriptive of the whole thing the whole story because you could have just like earlier you said sugarcoated you didn't sugarcoat anything we don't sugarcoat anything on this show every story that we bring to race slaves is real is true these are real people they don't get paid they get two tacos that's it <laughs> that's oh, my pay quesadilla quesadilla, quesadilla today, today. <laughs> quesadilla today. that's our budget <laughs> oh man be right back in a few things you, no worries, J-Rob. No worries, J-Rob. Yeah, yeah. Um, crazy. So, yeah, this is all real stuff. So, so. does it does it get, because you seem like there was something ends up happening where it goes back down again, or, or what happens? Well, I end up staying in that camping trailer for two and a half years, and mm-hmm. um, later, much later, I find out that the, the guy that let me uh, stay in his camping trailer, he actually didn't think I would make it past a week. He thought, I, he knew the condition that the trailer was in, and he thought to himself, oh, she's not going to make it he a week. He thought you'd just leave it like that. Or he just thought I'd quit and like go back to my parents' house house like make make amends with them and you know and get things and just leave because he just didn't uh respect me he thought i was very um uh, like princess like like he uh, doesn't know allison allison's where you take that place down organize right. maven baby right so he thought for sure i would give it a week and then just cave in and leave and not get dirty and most not, people would yeah most and, people would just like i'll just sleep under the under the bridge if i gotta sleep with these roaches i mean it doesn't get right. any worse than this so you cleaned was, it all up so every time that i would like prevail and stay there another month he was like wow she's got some you know gumption she's got so you know she's she's got this together so he started charging rent for the camping at, trailer at what point did it, like five months down the road or no i want to say like three months as soon as the roaches were out and he realized as soon it, as you clean it up and you're surviving he's yeah. like i'm gonna now i I need to make some money off this. Yeah, he, he tried to say that his electric bill went up because of power ring. No, uh, it doesn't take thing. that much electricity. And, You're never there. You're working 12 hours a day. And so, uh, so, anyways, so he started charging me $330 a month rent. And <laughs> so, you know, and, and in the meantime of all this, as soon as I, they, my parents had given me that two days notice and, and kicked me out, they had stopped making my car payment for me, the one bill that I have. Ooh. So, I hadn't I by the time March comes around I haven't paid my car payment for five months so I'm getting calls of repo and hey where do you live we want to see the condition of our vehicle well they'll never find you because you live somewhere in a cat in a camper <laughs> <laughs> so uh, well coincidentally I lived right next door to my parents in this guy's backyard oh he, he's a neighbor he's directly their next door neighbor oh damn so, basically so they my find car it. was parked in the same place it would have been parked at my damn. parents house so it wasn't like i was far i was <laughs> literally next door oh from my parents. <laughs> man you're easy you were easy pick they grab, so, they grab your car anytime yeah so that was my worry that you know they if they knew my parents address they might just go there to scope it out yeah and they're they just would, looking for the car and then they would see my car in part of my parents house you know oh my and not gosh. know that i'm not living at my parents i'm next door <laughs> dang so what do you have to did you start calling take talking to them and pay, making payments well it was just like five dollars here ten dollars there uh, my loan was my auto loan was through a credit union that i already banked with it was like all connected oh, okay. so anytime i so any basically anytime i put any money in my checking account it they was were just like, gonna take they just pulled it to fulfill what was needed so then i just started keeping cash on the side to pay food and, and things because anything i put into my checking account just got absorbed <laughs> into yeah, those payments because they could do that yeah it, you, you owe them money it's their bank Bank, they can see the money coming in yeah they're gonna take it right away right because they're gonna fulfill Dang. the obligation so that so that so then yeah so it took a couple so i think it was like i want to say june that i finally got like current and everything Whoa. so it was just a, so it's just a it's thing not bad though march april may june four months to get back back current yeah. you know that, that's us awesome. and then you're working you got you got the job so yeah and so like awesome. I, I got a new cell phone or something because i was like on a track phone or something so and then 
And the one thing about those prepaid phones is you only have so many minutes back when we had minute plans. And, yeah. and so what would happen is, is once the minutes ran out, there was no grace period. I would have to go to Walmart, buy up, re up my minutes, you know, get and, the card. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. And so then I would switch to T-Mobile because at least at the end of the month, there's a little bit of grace period before you pay again. You know, you can go right. like two weeks before they're like, Hey, we're going to threaten to, to, you know, turn off your car, you know, your phone. So yeah. I didn't have to go get minutes and go to Walmart and all they that. They still have that. Believe me, I've, I've, I've tried. I've tried to mention that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so again, I'm, I'm still in survivor mode, so to speak, because I, again, don't have a garden and I'm trying to get caught up and stuff and I'm trying to build and everything. So that's yeah. when I said, and then remember, I still have to pay that $35 a month hosting fee. Oh. And so, you know, so it's just. For something that you're practically not using at this time. Right. And none of, and so, um, so the whole purpose of the website um, was to be a hub for the 14 chapters for them to be able to post or tell me when their swap is so that I could have OC food swap uh, dot ocfoodswappers.com which doesn't exist anymore but um, mm. I, I had a calendar of events so to speak and so all the chapters would say hey we're going to have one on Tuesday and hey we're going to have one on Friday and hey we're going to have this so my but I was making complete, you would update that for them I would update it for them and I was at times, I was still talking about OC food swap. So when I was talking to strangers, and they're like, oh, I wonder if there's a food swap by me. And I go, oh, where do you live? And they go, oh, Garden Grove. And I go, oh, there is. I don't know when the next swap is, but here's our website. Follow our accounts, and then I'll be mm. promoting the next, I'll be you know, talking about the next Garden Grove event. So we had a lot of viewers going to the website, using my, my looking at my calendar of events to see when the next swap is which is what i wanted i wanted my website to be the hub yeah. that all the outside people came to to check for updates and then the franchise people the chapters would tell me when their next event was so that was like my whole goal was to be a community a hub a service that provided this information so through all this i'm getting text messages saying hey i'm having a swap on saturday can you put it on the calendar events and i go yeah, I'm exhausted. I'll I'll try to do it tonight around midnight. You You're know? still web hosting. Oh yeah, my I'm gosh. still paying the web hosting. So now here we are about a year later from uh, everything happening. And I haven't done one single swap myself. I haven't gone to one single swap. The and last I, time you did one was 2013? Yeah, it was like uh, September of 2013. And now <laughs> it's like September of 2014. Uh, 14 2014 and so uh you know so it's like you know i i just and i'm not getting the 35 dollars i you know it would get the website would get turned off if i hadn't made the web hosting thing and then people oh. were like mad like i went to the website and said the website not valid what's going on <laughs> and i'm like oh that's right okay um yeah uh uh, yeah, you know, it was like so frazzling for me. They no, have no idea what's going on. And no one, and I didn't want to tell everyone what was going sure. on because I didn't want. I didn't want people thinking that I was uh, had malicious intentions or, you know, the, the stigma of being homeless. And mm. now I'm going to show up to a food swap and make a mess or or, uh, or steal your zucchini or just <laughs> anything. I didn't want the bad connotation of a homeless person showing up to a swap if sure. no one knew who I was. Right. You right, know, right, right. so, you know, so, yes, the chapter leaders would know who I am, but the people showing up to their swap wouldn't know who I am. Right. You right, know, right, and I just right, didn't right. want any connotation. So I remember contacting the individual chapter people and being like, I need to close the website. I cannot handle this finance this, mm. this anymore. I'm not doing any swaps. I'm not I'm not able to go to any swaps. I don't have any way to have a garden. I'm still barely surviving. But sure things have calmed down. I'm starting to go on a new pathway here, but I just don't see food swap happening. Does anyone want to take over the $35? Does anyone want to take over and be the leader of OC food swap like, you know, and a bunch of people 
people jumped up and volunteered? No, no one wanted <laughs> to do it. No one oh, wanted the man. responsibility. No one wanted the extra task, everything. I guess $35 <laughs> was just too scary yeah. <laughs> to take on. So I just said, okay, fine. Then I'm going to close it. I'm going to close all the website, the, the, the email, the social media. Like if I can't maintain it, then it shouldn't be active. And, 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 and I'll tell you, and I, I shared this with you, you know, privately before all this, I really felt like a failure, like mm. I, because I couldn't keep it going and because I couldn't afford the $35 and no one paid for the franchise and none of the chapters wanted to do it. I just felt like this big fat failure. Yeah. Well, you it's know? Not, you're not a failure. I'll tell you what, I, I, I have a job. <laughs> I have a website and it's only $25. I'll be real with you. It's $25 a month. There are months where I... And I don't, I, it's $25 is a lot of money sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on, on what month you're doing, you know, the things you're going through, what, what expenses you have. It's not easy. Right. So I'm, I, I mean, yours was 35 and you were homeless. Mine's 25 and I have a job and I can barely afford it. So I feel you. It's not, it's not easy. And it's not easy having to update something when you're not even, when you're like in another real trying to just survive and, right. and live your life. So it's, it, you're, you are not a loser for you're not you are not you're you're and you're especially a not a quitter right, because you no. stood to that freaking <laughs> motorhome and you said f you i'm cleaning this thing i'm making this thing a freaking castle you made you and and the other guy thought you were going to give up you kept going cleaned it up got your thing going got killer gigs working in the green room got free food at the hotel you're a hustler baby yeah I, <laughs> it was it was and the thing was i didn't have any friends all my friends were the swapping uh chapter leaders Mm. And I purposely had distanced myself from them because I didn't want to burden them with all this information. I, I didn't want them to think they needed to give me a handout. I sure. didn't want them to think Plus anything about me. Plus, they're giving you work anyways. They're like, hey, fix the, uh, uh, December 14th, we got a uh, trade. Uh, go, go, go. Put that on the website. So, yeah. Like so it's like I just was really kept it really private and just really like kept my head down and just hustle just just got through it just did everything and so yeah so i had Goes to close to it and everything and so then lots of other things happened in my life we'll fast forward through 2015 to 2023 yeah there's just there's just that's like a whole other show <laughs> well yeah but well yeah let's just jump exactly let's take because you'll be back yeah but but now 2023 happens in 2024 and, and so. 2024 why the recent re excitement the re what we got a raid we got a raid raid remote works in the house ladies and gentlemen holy holy right here right now a raid in the house remote party of five painting polish in the house with the raider painting polish in the house with the raider raiding 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 with the party of five this is the remote works happening remote work is bringing them in bringing them in if you're not following remote works stop what you're doing right now and follow Ramon works. Holy moly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ramon works with the Ray. Welcome in. If you're just joining us for the first time, this is the Ray's Flays Podcast Network. Oh, getting choked up and so excited. So excited. So excited here on a Wednesday. This is Wednesday. This is National Stop Food Wasting Day. We're here with Allison Almond, the founder of the OC Food Swap network that was huge in OC back in 2011, 2012, 2013. And then she's just gone through this amazing story of heroism and survival mode, um, being homeless at one point, living in a camping trailer full of roaches, fleas and whatnot, cleaning it up, finding a job at NAM. These are the kind of stories that we do here on Race Flays. If you've never been on Race Flays uh, before, this is what we do. These are stories of past stories of business if you're a business owner if you're an artist if you're a painter everything about what you do why you do it and what is your passion and why do you do what you do and how do you get through it we're here with our hero right now Allison Almond. she's just going through her whole story amazing if you just missed that first half don't forget to catch the vod that's coming also follow me on youtube we got a youtube channel we'll, we'll have this on youtube later today and also we'll edit this for spotify itunes amazon music and google as well all that stuff will be launching on tuesday just a great great show thank you so much for popping in so allison what 
now 2023 you haven't done a food swap uh food swap since 2014 2015 what's what is this new excitement about oh i'm feeling this like excitement i'm like getting this uh, like what is this comeback now of the 2004 oc food swap is it coming back is that what's going on so fast forward to this year and um the inflation the mark the economy whatever there's something going on and i really really start to reflect at how much i missed the food swap mm. um, i applied for food stamps in my area and my uh, rent exceeds my income um, so i don't qualify for food stamps because my rent is higher than the cap or something like that wait a minute you pay so much in rent that they won't give you food stamps right how the heck does that work california they, thank you so much because they figure if you can pay rent you can buy groceries <laughs> well what if you're barely paying rent jesus what well, is up anata what is up anata so that's what made it so funny when i got denied food stamps because my rent is higher than my monthly income cap i was like but you don't understand that's all i can afford is rent there's nothing left over for groceries and i thought to myself we need to do a food swap i need to do a food swap i need to start picking trees and getting access to, nice. to produce so there's a local um facebook group in in my area and i posted that i was looking for trees to pick because I need food because uh, I didn't qualify for food stamps uh, but I didn't say all that in the post but uh, what I had said was I'm looking for trees to pick because I like to share it in my community and um, that I also do things with the, the, the fruit and stuff that I pick like canning and, and things and so at the very end um, just so people could trust me uh, I was so nervous that someone might think that I was targeting elderly people that can't pick all their trees because they're elderly and they can't get on a ladder and so forth. A lot was, of them are looking for some young lady like you to come over to their house, get the ladder and pick their stuff because it's making a mess on the floor. Right. And I was super nervous that someone might think that I was a, a burglar or a malicious person targeting the elderly, like I was going to take advantage of them. So at the, sure. So at the very end of my post saying that I want to pick trees and, and so forth, I go, oh, and by the way, I'm the founder of OC Food Swap, where we swap fruit. You name dropped yourself. Right. But <laughs> I, I like was that. trying to give myself credibility, even though no one's going to know that I was the food swap person. Because what was the vibe? Like when you started telling people like you want to go to their backyard and pick their trees, what were some of the some of the kind of uh, reactions you were getting? Well, technically, I didn't get any response. Oh. And all I did was post. None but, is better than none. <laughs> but I just, I it's in a group where people... People often, uh, you know, are complaining about their porch uh, pirates and they're complaining uh, about people coming into their yard and just being What is this group? Yard. Is it a lot of elderly people in this group? It's just a La Hopper buzz. So it's just like a community group that you're supposed to complain about um, trash and not getting picked up and, uh, and coyotes, you know, walk, you know, being in your front yard and keep oh, your okay. animals close. I was going to see if I could join, but it, if they're just complaining, no, I don't want to join. No, they, <laughs> They're, they Sorry. always are complaining about something. You know, what was that bang? What's that boom? What's like that? Like on the Ring app? Or like, it, oh my it's gosh. the same similar community as the Ring oh, community. And so geez. I was just nervous that if I had said, hey, I'm looking for some trees to pick because I like free fruit. And especially uh, I have a soft part for elderly people because they can't be on ladders. I just didn't want some snarky person to go, oh, why are you targeting elderly people? People to pick their tree are you gonna hurt them are you gonna steal from them yeah i was nervous that someone might be snarky and be that way so i thought oh i should give myself some credibility i'll say that i was the founder of oc food swap and we're a food swap community and um i don't have any access i don't i live in an apartment with no um uh, garden items so whatever i pick from someone's tree i'll share with this community and then i you know hit submit so that admin can approve my post and i thought well if i'm if someone's gonna look me up 
I better make this, I better make a OC food swap again so that I, there's some paper trail or credibility. Right. So I hopped into Gmail and created a new Gmail account because I honestly didn't think I could get access to the old Yahoo email. And I pop on Instagram and make OC food swap and stuck a few pictures on there and, you know, from my history of, um, in my, in my. So you created an Instagram page? I created it and, and then I. Gmail. I, and then I just kind of created it and then I went and then once it got approved from La Habra Buzz, I went in and edited and go, here's my Instagram if you have any questions. <laughs> that way it gave me credibility. So then I kind of just looked at my phone like, what did I just do? Like, Well, do it, you think that it was time? It was like all this time passes from 2015 all the way to 2023. It's time for not only what's going on in the real, the, the food's getting crazy expensive, nobody can afford food right now, it's out of control, and then what you're going through as well, you, you know, not being able to get food stamps, not being able to get food, the necessity for both parties, the community as well as you, that's what the OC Foods Swap's all about anyways, is about community, and so it just feels like it's the right time. Right, so then once I made it, I was like, well, what do I do now? And I thought, well, I don't want to reach out to those chapters because I don't even talk to those people anymore, and I wouldn't even know how to find them because I don't remember their names. Wow. And so I just, so then from there, I start going to Google, and I just keep typing in a food swap, Harvest Swap, you know, Harvest Swap LA, Harvest Crop Swap LA, uh, Harvest Swap Long Beach. Like I just start picking cities in my area and typing Harvest Swap. Are you finding swap. a lot of people still doing it? Well, I found some of the old accounts from 2013 and 14, but they're not active anymore. Uh, and so, like, the, some of their last posts were 2015 or 2017. So I was like, oh, that's a bust. And so I just, uh, I just keep searching. I just keep searching, keep typing in different keywords and hashtags and stuff and uh and then lo and behold i uh, thought well um and you and i started talking about this and because you... i do like you pulled it off because <laughs> you were trying to fool them but you also fooled me like i even asked you on the show like what's this and you looked at me like you know, talking and then, and then as it looks for like it's still like it's a company like your Instagram. You you're good at social media, so the the what, the Instagram looks good. It looked like a thing that's been going on for years. It has been listening to the story, but it, there's a there's a break there in there's the middle, gap. and. By the way, I don't know if you know this, we can also take a break right now and have a bathroom break. On that note, we're going to take a bit quick bathroom break. Hold tight. We're going to be back with the rest of the story. There's some exciting news. Don't leave. We're not done yet. Be right back. I don't exactly know what's going on, but I'm just going to follow this cable all the way. And hopefully, we can get this thing back on.
I don't exactly know what's going on, but I'm just gonna follow this cable all the way. And hopefully, we can get this thing back on. I don't exactly know what's going on, but I'm just gonna follow this cable all the way. And hopefully, we can get this thing back on. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, we are the Race Place Podcast Network. Holy moly, holy moly. We are with Allison Almond right here in studio guest. And she is the founder of OC Food Swap. She found this back in 2012 where she created a community, not just uh, just like trying to sell food and other she created a community where she had excess fruits other people had excess zucchinis other people had excess pumpkins other people had excess cucumbers they came together in one spot they traded they swapped it was a food swap literally swapping food and creating a community of these people not only just in front of her house but she ended up making a big old website where it was an umbrella she was the hub of she created 14 other chapters all over Orange County and it was a big big thing back in 2012 and getting into 2013 some uh, personal things happened where she actually became homeless we just had a whole harrowing story of her surviving homelessness a crazy crazy ordeal make sure you catch the VOD it's going to be on YouTube as well um, and now we're back into we're at the point where she Finally, it's 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 time now. It's 2023. Nobody can afford food. Everybody's struggling. She's struggling. She can't even get food stamps because she pays too much rent. Can you believe that? Thank you, California. She pays so much rent that she's her rent is so high, which everybody's rent is high, by the way. Three thousand dollars for a studio apartment nowadays. Everybody's rent is so high. Her rent is so high that they say we can't even give you food stamps because if you can afford to pay her rent you, it doesn't make any sense to me but anyways she is now bringing back oc foods wap 
because not only the necessity of everybody, her necessity, can't get food, needs a place to try to try to uh, swap food, reaches out to some people on Facebook, finds your old website, right? You find the old website? Right. So you and I were, uh, you had, we had scheduled for me to do tonight's recording and you wanted, uh, you had made a blip of a preview like to entice people to uh bookmark and come for tonight and yeah i, I was on uh, i was on discord talking about talking about what we were going to talk about tonight right did a little like what i what i heard from you off you know off me, when we were talking with my mom and stuff like that and then and 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 i was like i was like i want to put this on discord i wanted to see it because i want to get the details and she gave me details i wanted to fact check because uh, i'm such an honest person i didn't want to be misleading and have my facts wrong so i kind of digged deep and kept using google Google to search for OC food swap and OC food swappers and the most craziest awesome thing happened that um, so back in the mindset of what I thought was a failure with everything going on and doing the homeless thing and hustling and I had deactivated the website I had also deactivated the uh, email Mm -hmm. and um, closed the Facebook group and the Instagram. But what I didn't know was Twitter, a bird app, X, whatever, was, uh, <laughs> and Pinterest, the accounts were not only still there, but they were almost like frozen in time. Cause the Whoa, you found everything. I found everything. I found the links to everything. I found, uh, when I clicked on the OC, when the Pinterest uh, link for OC food swap, I saw all the things that I had linked and uploaded and things. Everything was time dated, frozen in time to wow. September of 2013 with no new active stuff because no active stuff had died. Of course, of course. And the same thing with X. Uh, all the tweets had ended in uh, September of... Um 2013 i think i had done a couple in 2014 but it was like just generic food you had blog spot you had a blog spot and everything mm -hmm. like that. i had a blog spot same thing all the uploads and everything and literally uh, how i visual it and visualize it in my mind it was like there was ice freezing all these accounts frozen in time and i had just broken through the ice wall and nice. discovered these things were still there yeah i had thought when I had deactivated the website and like I said Instagram Facebook and the email I just thought I had done everything only to discover it was all still there it was all, and we're talking this whole time me and you are chatting on, on Instagram about the whole thing yeah and yeah. I was just so mind blown I think I had used that emoji a couple of times yeah. because I really felt like oh my gosh it's there like I'm not making this up it really did exist and it really gives me the credibility that I was looking for and so when I saw that it was an e a Yahoo email, I thought, what the heck? Let's go to Yahoo and see if I can reactivate this email. Because if I can reactivate the email, then I can get into the X and the Pinterest yeah, account. Yeah, Pinterest, everything. I can reactivate those accounts and get access to them and, and start updating them. So that was kind of my thought process. So yeah, it took me an hour to get into Yahoo and reactivate it. And then I got over to Pinterest and reset the email got over to x reset the email and then um and then um that was kind of it. it just kind of just i just got access that's all i've done on that part it's back as far as that, that's not all i say it's back i i hereby decree that it is back ladies and gentlemen we are revitalizing oc swap tonight well, and then the cool thing is, is when I was on X kind of scrolling through the things, I came across a lady that runs um, called the the Cool Cucumber Community Co-op. Cool Cucumber Community Co-op. Come she, on the show. And she calls it C4 because it's <laughs> C4. four C's. <laughs> That's awesome. Co-op. And so she had announced on X back in 2013 that um, OC Food Swap was going to come to her plant share and all these people needed to come like a collaboration. Back but when? 2013. 
So she was already doing this stuff back then, right? Uh, yeah, and she knew about you. You were you were her you were her her hero, right? And so she had invited me to come to her plant share and to bring like my people with me to make her plant share be like a bigger plant share. Did you do end up remember doing that? I did go to it. And uh, so the funny thing is, is on X, I clicked on her account, which took me to her Facebook group that is still active. No way. So everybody's still there. So I clicked on the, scrolled onto Facebook, and I saw an announcement that the next plant trade was Saturday, August, wait, April 20th. And this was like April 18th when we This was last I, week. Yeah, when we were texting back and forth. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Did you went there, down there? There's a plant share on Saturday. I gotta go. I couldn't remember what Faith looked like, but I was like, I if I saw her, I, we're gonna recognize each other or maybe, you know, I'll recognize yeah. her. And so I sent her an email saying, basically, I'm back. That's all the email I'm said. Back, but baby. I had used my OC Food Swapper email. And so I just sent her an email of, I'm back. I'll see you at the plant share. <laughs> and so I actually got a message on Facebook that uh, she thought my email was hacked because she got the email that said I'm back and she couldn't believe it. Because she thought you, I was, it's so many years. Yes, yeah, over 10 years since she had an email from wow. me. So she thought I had been hacked or something or not. <laughs> and I said, not hacked, re Activated. Reactivated. <laughs> or like the or like our, our article that we wrote together says revival of the OC food swap is back. Yeah. Holy moly. So that was it. So I showed up to the plant chair. I brought some apples and oranges and lemons. And uh I went and right away she recognized me, which I was so thankful about. Wow. And so then we started chit-chatting. And so unfortunately, she has been um so this year, um 2020 is the 12 year anniversary of her plant share she wow. has been going all these years she didn't and, stop and she hasn't stopped however she is very burnt out from doing the plant shares for so long that she's closing the plant share in the next three years she went from having plant shells shares every week now right. she's doing them every other month Next year and the year after that, it will only be twice a year. And then on the 15th anniversary, she plans on closing the plant swap. So is this where you come in and partner and help out? Or well, I kind of we like thinking? jokingly said, like, why don't you just pass the torch over to me or merge it with me? But I could tell she just wasn't open to the idea. It's still her plant swap sure. and how she wants to run it. I can't predict the future if she'll want to merge with me or let me take over. Yeah. I don't know what I'll be doing in two years and what the future portells. So sure. I don't want to give her any false hope or anything. Right, she right. hasn't seen me in 10 years. And now, now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, you're closing? Let me take over. Right. Like she, It's still her event. It's her still baby. her thing. So I, you know, she might have saw me as a threat. Like there was, mm. there was some abrasiveness of, no, this is how I'm going to run it and then I'm going to oh, close it. Really? So I was like, oh, Okay. Okay. Like, you okay. know, like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to step on your toes. That's the wrong uh, I came home with um, some sage uh, clippings. I came home with some mint clippings. I came home with some grapefruit. Do you want to put the, the picture of what my uh, my uh, swap haul was? Oh, did you? Uh, is so it on your Instagram? It's on my Instagram. Let me see. Actually, a lot of stuff has happened. But, yeah, you'll see a white stove with... Um, we'll see food swap. Yeah. I didn't prep you for this. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Cut me off, cut me off guard. This is, this is all. This is good for my training. <laughs> Let's see here. A screen capture. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. So there I it got... is. That's the that's the Instagram that I saw, and uh, I was like, you know, I was fooled like everybody else. But it's the time. I, I was at the right time. She's bringing it back. Founder of the OC Food Swap, Allison Almond, if you're just joining us, she's got. 
You, is is this uh, picked up carrots, carrots, greens, radishes, greens from friends CSA box? Where'd you get that stuff from? So what's a CSA box? So Saturday I had the plant swap and I talked to a ton of people and posted about it and all this kind of stuff and took a picture of my haul. So that was Saturday, and then there's the sage, sage, lemons, little orange tomato, tomatoes, are those tomatoes. No, they are. Um, they're called. Um, Kumquats. Kumquats. I've seen those before. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They're, and, and, every, and they're really good. They're like, These in a, plants. they're like atomic sour bombs. That's what they're like. Ooh. Where they're sweet on the outside and sour on the inside. But oh, like, a, like, nice. But like, it's sneaky. It's a sneaky sour. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Sour on the inside, huh? So anyways, I got those kumquats and this, those four or five that are in the picture. So then Sunday... I get into a, a Facebook group called Fullerton Loves Food, and all we do is talk about food in local restaurants. You're gonna take notes what? or go to Fullerton it. Fullerton Food. So, wait, 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 wait. So, how do you say it again? Fullerton Loves Food. Guess what? I'm joining. So basically, it's a restaurant um, uh, group where all people do is talk about Poor Vita or Poor Sh uh, Phil Shop. The 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 where that place you go or that place that you went. It's a Facebook group. The Facebook group that I went to? No, the restaurant you went to. Like poor? Yeah. They talk about poor? In there, they do. And then people take pictures of their meals. That way, when you get to a restaurant, you know what to order. What? Yes, it's very, If it looks very like cool. I'm not paying attention, I'm actually just... Looking. I know, you're looking it up. <laughs> Bulletin, Bulletin loves food. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Yeah, it's a gosh. Facebook group. And all we do is talk about restaurants and where to eat and where to buy bread and everything. Join. So, well, someone had posted where to find kumquats because they want kumquats because I, you know, because they like kumquats. And I went into the group on Sunday just for something else. And I you just happened to have got kumquats. Right. And then I see someone's some, looking for them. Yeah. And then what happens? So three people commented that their tree it has an overabundance of kumquats and who wants some. So what? I send instant messages of me, 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 me. And then and I commented on that same thread, this is so nice to see the community come together and offer their trees full of kumquats. This is why I made OC Food Swap. Bam, so, plug. so that people in the community can come together and share produce. And so I picked up those kumquats on Sunday, two gallon size bags. I went to two different people's homes in Fullerton. And then I shared them right away. My friend who works at a candle shop, she actually makes candles. I went to her shop and shared some with her. And she goes, what's this? And I go, kumquats. And she's like, why are you sharing with me? I'm like, because I'm OC Food Swap. <laughs> <laughs> and I help connect people to food, and this is an abundance of kumquats, and I want to share them with you. And then I went to another place uh, called Mustard Market, and there's the um, they're a, a charity. Um, shop that helps the community and i went to the employee and said you want some kumquats and she's all what are these and i'm like have a sample and she proceeds to go can i have some and i go of course you can so i You're take swapping. so i take a picture of me sharing the kumquats with her and Ooh. then and then i added it and while i was at the candle store she goes hey the csa which is community um supported agriculture um local farm Farms will sell their produce for a discounted amount, like $30 for a lot of produce. What? And so you prepay the subscription for the produce, and um, then you go pick up the box, or it gets delivered to you, depending on where you live and where the farm is and that kind of stuff. So anyways, the vegan candle store um, is a pickup spot for the CSA box. What? So when I showed up to drop off the kumquat, she goes, oh, I'm not going to use these carrot tops and I'm not going to use these radish greens. Can I give you them to you? Dang. And I go, sure. Can I give you some kumquats in exchange? And so she gave me that it and I gave her happy. kumquats. So even though it technically wasn't a park and it technically wasn't someone's front yard, I went to their place of business, yeah. but I still swapped food. I think there's this different angle that's happening. And we wrote about it in the article because of social media and the way it works. It's almost, it, it's, 
there, there's this virtual thing that could, could potentially happen. It's happening right now live on Twitch, on Twitch with us, but also you're doing this one-on-one -on -one exchange with people. Right. It's, 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 there's this whole new angle that OC food swap can have. It's yeah, crazy. Before it was a set location on a yeah. set day, but now it's almost like I'm becoming the food swap person. So people are reaching out to me or I'm coming into getting something and then I'm swapping it with yeah. like the next person I literally see because I have something that I could share with them. And they're like, wait, I have something I could share with them. Yes. So I brought some bubbly sparkling swap? water. Are we going to swap? And I feel like we should do a swap. We should do a swap. The thing is, I don't have any food though. Right. I do have something for you to swap though. Here's the remote control. That's part of it. This is, I got some light bulbs for you. Okay. These light bulbs. bulbs good. Check these bulbs out. This is not food. These are bulbs. I don't know if this counts. These are bulbs, USB light bulbs. Okay. You plug them in. I got one down here lit up. You plug them into your USB and they light up different colors. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is cool. You can use them for your, for your content. I sure can. So I'll put these in here for you. It comes with, it's brand new in the box with the remote control that does different color settings. Oh, I've seen those. Blue, ones. red, cool. everything. They're cool. cool you can right? even alter them. They just flash button altering. Boom, boom. Those so are all yours. So I'm swapping and, and you get sparkling and bubbly. I got my favorite freaking drink in the world, bubbly. Oh, oh I, no I love this swap. I had no idea. <laughs> Do you know that? Oh, I didn't even get it. This we had my... talked about how gross LaCroix were, so I just figured all sparkling water was gross. <laughs> no, bubblies are. The bubblies are the best. <laughs> Not Michael Bublé. Bublé. <laughs> and that one the strawberry, oh, too. So I haven't, had, I haven't tried the strawberries. So oh. I can't wait to try this. We'll see. Then this helps. You got to this... try something new. You get to go home with something new. I get to go home. This so, is amazing. So that's kind of, that's, 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 that's how, how the swap that's works. How works. <laughs> that's how the swap works. You guys just saw it live here. Crazy. The OC food swap is back. Holy moly. I think it's going to be a lot easier for you because my biggest fear, oh, I know it says I love Olipops and Poppy. Olipops. Is that another, is that another sparkling water? Olipops? Let be. me see. Oh, yeah, Olipops, you're right, yep. Olipops, official website, there it is. Boom, boom, soft drink produced in the United States. It has sold over 25,000 stores. I haven't seen that. I got to check that out. Yeah. And not a fantastic. Thank you for that. It's better than alternative to soda. Nice. I love that. Here's my alternative soda lately is the Kirkland brand uh, Sparkling. It's just called Sparkling, I guess. Sparkling. These are fantastic. They say it's exactly like soda. This one's black raspberry flavor. There's also a lime one that tastes exactly like freaking uh, like lime soda or something like that. These taste exactly like soda. Raspberry flavor. Zero calories. A lot more healthier for me so these are fantastic carbonated flavor water beverage from kirkland kirkland if you want to sponsor me hit me up in the dm these are fantastic and you know i put a little secret uh daddy uh powder in there not cocaine i know what you're thinking it's not cocaine i'm talking about uh i'm talking about the uh energy energy powder that i use mm. Mm -mm -mm. isn't there a code there is a code raise 10 and I always, what did I tell you the company's called? Daddy something? No, that's what you call it. But, uh, Dubby, Dubby. Mm. I haven't even, I haven't shouted out Dubby in a long time. Make sure, Drays10Dubby.com. You can get yourself 10% off. It, yeah, I haven't shouted that company out in a long time. I got to adjust to your new name. Hope everything's going. Yeah, yeah. J-Rob's got a new name, Grand Bay Nails on Twitch. Yeah, so I put a little W in there. It's got me excited, got me pumped, ready for you guys to pop in for the raid. It's amazing. I think this round of swapping is going to be like, because my biggest fear for you, what, and, and, and I'm telling you, dude, we were on the same, like you were thinking about it the whole weekend during my son's party. I was just, I was thinking about OC food swap and I was like trying to like, Bob, like try Cause my biggest fear was like, well, we don't have a place. You don't have a place. Right. But with this new, with, with this new, like AI actually told us about it. <laughs> like AI was like, well, 
What about you're doing it on Twitch? You you know, and we you 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 like we just had so many ideas flowing on, on the DM that we we're like, dude, you almost don't need a spot because like the the Twitch is a, a virtual way of doing it. We need to connect with the you need to connect with Ramon's wife, um, Petite Nail. Uh, I saw I, I always get the name wrong. Petite Garden Inspirations. Uh, I sent you that that link a hook up with her because she has a huge garden they have a huge garden oh. and she knows a ton about gardening she has a gardening channel over 25,000 followers on instagram petite nail garden inspirations petite garden inspirations i always mess it up petite garden inspirations um she's an amazing gardener she has freaking kale back there she has lemons back there she has this huge garden so you got to hook up with her so you guys can do the food swap she would be perfect for this but like you 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 have these virtual hangouts you have facebook you have twitch you have um instagram instagram looks beautiful and you can kind of hook like hook up with these people one on one. It doesn't necessarily need to be an event. I think that's where I was stuck. It was like this it has to be an event. It has to be a it doesn't have to be anymore. Yeah, people are just connecting themselves and then meeting up at a, a public place to do the exchange, you know, then I don't see why it couldn't yeah. be. And I think then, COVID just changed the game. Like you don't we don't necessarily need a physical place anymore. Yeah. It can just be spur of the moment. It can be like we're gonna we're gonna meet up at this place just like we do with um offer up if you're gonna buy something meet me at the pick and save down the street we're gonna meet we're gonna exchange products right boom 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 we're gonna exchange we're gonna exchange kumquats <laughs> gallon bag size of the kumquats that's how we do it oc food swap is back ladies and gentlemen oc food swap on instagram allison thank you so much for coming to the show again we love having you in the show we love having you in the studio so much layers and layers to this lady check your little facebook pro hanada i bet there are tons of people that can help you yes yes these food swaps are everywhere they're on on facebook they're happening i love the plant idea that the ladies ladies doing now because i gotta go check that out because my wife loves plants um bunch of stuff happening and Fullerton loves food. I just joined that group right now as we were talking. <laughs> I'm going to talk to them. Hopefully they read my article um, and let me in the group. Please let me in, guys. I need some friends. Come on. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Juice gang gang. Juice gang gang. Juice gang gang. Thank you so much for listening. You guys have a great one. Stay thirsty and not dangerous, my friends. Late.